Our Holy Mother, St. Teresa, wanted her Carmels to be more of a family and less of an institution. Before the Discalced Reform, our Holy Mother lived in a monastery of about 200 nuns, and it was more of an institution with that many sisters. But when she founded St. Joseph's in 1562, she wanted it to be a family with 12 to 21 Carmelites. She and St. John of the Cross envisioned a loving family modeled on the community of Christ and the apostles. Our life in Carmel is truly a family relationship in which we are called to love one another. This is fostered by our prayer life, but also by a vibrant community life. We experience Christ's presence in the community, and the community becomes a source of life, joy, and growth and virtue. Our Holy Mother makes it very clear in her writings that community life is essential for growing in virtue. A soldier alone in a corner is not put to the test. It is only in battle that his skills increase. It is the same with virtue. Alone by ourselves, it is very difficult to grow in virtue. But when we relate to others in the day-to-day, -day, we are tried and tested and have the opportunity to become more virtuous. St. John of the Cross likens our community members to chisels chosen by God to form and fashion each one of us. God makes saints with a chisel, not a paintbrush, said Blessed Teresa Maria of the Cross. In the ascent of Mount Carmel, our Holy Father reminds us that where two or three are gathered in his name, Jesus is present. We need the community to discern what is of divine origin. The community helps clarify and confirm even the most subtle communications that come from God. In our monasteries, we have two periods each day to recreate together in friendly conversation and enjoy one another. Our life is meant to be joyful. God is joyful, and we want to be a source of joy for one another. The book of Genesis tells us it is not good for man to be alone. God made us for communion, to love and to be loved. In a special way, we live this vocation in Carmel. We reflect the love of God, the life of the Trinity. In our fraternal life, we therefore give eternal glory to God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.